Tis I, I am back. How's it going? We have an Elite Four to fight today. It's gonna be a fun one. Uh, Tis gonna be very fun. Very, very fun. We're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this one. Uh, lots of fun times to be had coming up regarding the Elite Four, mainly. So, today's goal, beat the Elite Four, get started on the Kanto stuff. That'll be our goal for today. We got nothing really thingy-wise to put on. It's odd and strange, whatever. With this, it's going to be a fun one. So, I'm not going to forget to hit this transition button this time. And hey, look at that. It's the game. What is this madness? That was idiot me forgetting uh, to do that last time. And for those who are wondering, just in case they didn't believe me last time. Because I accidentally caught this guy when I had the intermission screen up and not the actual game up. So, I did catch Ente. Just it happened that it happened off camera, which is really annoying. We're not going to reset back though, because we're at the Elite Four now. We've got all our Mons. We've got our team. They are ready to go against the Elite Four. We are going to make some purchases at the Pokemon Center while we're here. Uh, we are going to grab some Max Potions. I think we'll grab another 15 of them. We're going to be using up a lot of money right here. And then we are going to give some... Get some revives. We'll grab another 10 revives. And we'll grab a lot of forest stores. Forest stores we'll probably use quite a bit. So we'll grab 20 of those. We are running out of money very quickly. And some full heals just for good measure. Grab 15 of them. So, I just wasted half my money. Uh, <laughs> wasted pretty much all of my money. Um, because it's there, we can. So there's not really much more to say before we jump into the Elite Four here. In terms of the team right now, uh, everyone's at level 47. They are on par with the highest level of the fourth Elite Four member, which is Karen. Uh, 47, which means I will have, at this point going into the Elite Four, a three level difference between my lower, my highest and Lance's highest for the champion. Um, this is mainly to really get into the whole hardcore Nuzlocke type uh, thought process where we will be training up to the highest level of the fourth gym lead of the fourth Elite Four member. Um, and it's just a nice spot to sit in. Um, move sets for everyone is identical, except for Cyclonus, who learnt Drill Pack in the time there. But, thingy. Also, a thing that happened here, um, all my Pokemon know have Pokerust now. Um, they just, just came up with Pokerust during the training. Um, it was fun and interesting to get Pokerust. I have not had Pokerust before, so I'm kind of excited, kind of excited to give that a shot. So, we are going to jump into this here right about now. will be a fun time. It will be very fun. So, we have our Mons, they are sitting, they're ready to go for the Elite Four. Uh, as I said, all the movesets are the same, 
with the exception of Cyclonus, who now has Draw Pack instead of uh, Aerial Ace. But everything else is the same. Everyone else is ready to go with a lineup. Wrong button. <laughs> here, make sure that we got the right button going on here. So I think we are at a point where we are just about ready. That's the wireless club. Lol. <laughs> Random wireless club. Random wireless club. Let's chat to this guy. What do you have to say? At the Pokemon League, you'll get tested by the Elite Four. You have to beat them all. If you lose, you have to start all over. But um, if you save in the middle, it's fine. So, we are going to get ready for our first member of the Elite Four, which will be Will. What do you have to say? So I'm trying to suddenly feel discouraged and leave. My Abra can take you home, but trainers just fly home lately. I feel left out. I'm sure my Abra feels the same way. <laughs> nice. All right, let's do it. Once you enter this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. We are in the Elite Four. It is time. These rooms look a lot cooler than they were in the original game. Like, jeez, look at this room already. It's flying around in terms of stuff. Anyway. Okay. Will is first. Let's do it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I have been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Right into it, Elite Four number one, Will. Alright, Will. Psychic type trainer who has a lot, a variety of Pokemon to use. Uh, we'll probably be seeing a few mons in this battle, a couple mons in this battle. Uh, Tesla and. It'll be Tesla and uh, um, Typhlosion. I forgot my Typhlosion's name. Apparently they decided that, yes, I want to use Thunder Punch on an electric type Pokemon. It don't work that way. So go away, Zatu. Zatu number one, done. And he's going for Jinx, so let's send out Pyroclasm. There we go. That's her name, Pyroclasm. So we have level 41 Jinx here. Let's just go for the flamethrower. Uh, Ice Psychic, it should be able to take it out. The room actually looks uh, Psychic type like now. It didn't in the original. It still looks like Lorelei's room. Slowbro, all right. That's a Tesla one as well. Slowbro does have Curse, has Psychic as well. Jesus Christ. Could destroy me if I'm not careful. I think this thing has bulky defenses, so let's use Discharge. Might be able to take it out a bit easier here. There we go. First two battle. I think Will's actually a reasonably easy uh, Elite for to take out, I find. Alright, Pyroclasm. Let's do it. Exigitor. It has Chlorophyll. <laughs> I don't know what I'd use it for, but it does have Chlorophyll. Alright. Take that, Exigitor. You are dead as well. Ha ha ha. Alright. Final mon for Will is going to be second Zatu. Uh, we'll be aiming for a one hit KO. Uh, because I would like to avoid Confuse Ray if possible. We psychics don't give up even when we're down to the last Pokemon. That's what makes us so formidable. Cool. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to deal with that. Okay. Zatu's faster. Come on, hit through, hit through it. Come on, you can do it. Th 
Psychic. Alright, this could hurt. This could hurt. Okay. Hit dude's- hit dude confusion, come on. What are you doing? Hit through the confusion! Ugh. Is that gonna kill? Don't crit. Come on, hit through confusion. Why do you do this to yourself? Seriously? Of course it has Confuse Ray. Amethyst will be faster. Let's go with Shadow Ball. That should be able to take out... That should be super effective. And Amethyst has insane, like, pretty good special attack. Uh, crit as well. So, easy win. Despite taking down my Ampharos, you prick. Okay, now move on experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay. I do have some max revives. Didn't take any other damage otherwise. Okay. Okay. Koga is next. Koga. Which will pretty much be a Pyroclasm Sleep, I think. Yeah, although we might send out, uh... We'll send out Amethyst for, uh, Muck and... Thingy. Apparently the Muck is holding a Black Sludge. This will be a Pyroclasm Sweep. Alright. Will is defeated. Time to go fight Koga. And let's see what Koga's room has for us. It looks about the same as it did originally. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows. A ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Really wish that they had used the uh, Kanto gym battle theme for Koga and Bruno because they were in the original games, while Will and Karen are the new members of the Elite Four. Alright, leading off with level 40, Ariados, which should be a pretty easy takedown. Considering it's... Half of his team are bugs. Fortress and this one. Fortress isn't even poison type. I'm gonna go Blast Burn for this because then I should be able to switch out for Muck. Fortress is down. Yep. Yeah. Muck. Switch out. Amethyst is this one. Now, Muck is apparently holding a black sludge, whatever that means. And its ability is Sticky Hold, which I, I'm assuming is something to do with... Ooh, it lived. And it's confused, let's go! <laughs> this luck is awesome. Hurt yourself, yes! <laughs> Look at this insane luck, my god. Amethyst, you're crazy. Ooh, going for Crobat next. Okay, going straight for the... Uh, Going straight for the ace. Oh, it's got a double. It's got double team. All right. All you need to do, Amethyst, is hit Psybeam. There we go. This Crobat is a physical attacker, though. But oh well. Nice win. Venomoth. Not the ace. It decided to go a different direction. Mm 
Ah, uh, Venomoth. One Pokemon left! Ha ha ha! I've been counting on this one from the very beginning. It's one of your weakest ones. What is wrong with you, Koga? It's like your weakest one. No, it's not. The Ariadosis, but... Anyway. That is Koga down. Ah, you have proven your worth. We didn't take any damage in that battle. I subjected you to everything I could master. 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 Everything I could master, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Bruno! Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. We'll have... we have a couple options for Bruno. Uh, Amethyst, Cyclonus... Hydro can take out the single Onyx, which he still inexplicably has. Okay. In we go. What's up, Bruno? Your room still has fire in it. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Gold? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! You gotta get, you gotta get that. Hoo-ha! Perfect. Also wish that Bruno used the Kanto Gym Leader theme as well. Because... He was, he was in the original Elite Four. He's been in the Indigo Plateaus for three years now. He's gone up by one member. Okay. Hit on top can be taken care of by Cyclonus pretty easily, so I can hit Mon Lee. Ooh! Or not. Has counter. Okay. Okay, Amethyst. <laughs> I was about to say, probably not the best, yeah, full restore. There we go. That's the first time I've seen someone use a full restore. So. I was gonna say... I was gonna say that I probably wouldn't use it on Hitmonchan or Machamp because they have moves to combat flying types. Gun for Onyx. Alright. This Onyx has Dragon Breath. And it's got the ability Sturdy. Now, I can't remember how Sturdy works in this gen. Earthquake. Onyx is faster? Really? Really? Onyx is faster. Okay. Is next. Hit my chan. All right. Nothing really bad thing except for getting frozen by ice punch. But I don't think that will be the case. Bruno's team has barely changed. He's just added a hit on top. He's just added a hit on top. Amethyst is the first to reach level forty-eight. I don't think Amethyst will be doing much in, in the champion battle, so... Hitmonlee... Alright. Hitmonlee's down, we just gotta deal with the Marchamp. Anything that could possibly kill me is revenge. Fight as hard as you can until you faint. I'm destroying you. Besides the fact that you had counter on your hitmon top and you absolutely destroyed my hero. But that's not the point. Don't use Oh, it's citrus berry. He's gone for the citrus. Eating the citrus berry. What are you using? Revenge. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that should not do much damage. 
it's not very effective. Yeah, and the Citrus Berry brought you out of dead health, so that is a win for me. Okay. Karen. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. Here's my thought process. Alright, we're gonna do some healing. Because we can. I have a normal potion. Use a couple hyper potions. Heal up our team. Karen is gonna be the hardest to deal with for, I think. Because dark type is like. Thingy has Destiny Bond, so this will be a fun battle. Um, this is pretty much going to be Brute Force. We're going to have to go in with Brute Force on uh, Umbreon. Dark type is not a fun type to deal with, and it's got Confused Rays. <laughs> Alright, let's fight Karen. This is also a cool room. This is a very cool room. Alright, I am Karen of the Elite Four. Your gold? How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Alright. I'm fine with the Johto Gym Leader theme being used for Karen. I just disagree with the Johto theme being used for Koga and Bruno. Umbreon! Umbreon! Umbreon. Let's get that Earthquake. We will destroy it. Everything else I can take out with pretty... Pretty simple attacks. It's just... Uh, I hate... This Umbreon is powerful. And she's gonna, she's gonna use it. Sludge Bomb. This Umbreon's gonna keep raising its evasiveness. Payback. Alright. If I can get one more Sludge Bomb out, we should be able to take down the Umbreon. There's the Full Restore. I had a feeling she would use a Full Restore on her Umbreon. Poison. Yes! Nice. That's good. Good thing to get. Now we'll hit the Earthquake. Use double team once, but I've hit every move so far, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the poison will kill. And the poison will kill. And Umbreon will be taken out. Yeah, okay. Threats out. Going straight for Houndoom. Right. Hydro. Got Dark Boss. It's faster. Nasty Plot, which is... Special Attack, Sharply Raced. Alright. And it's gonna... Flamethrower won't do much to me, but like... Citrus Berry. It just very takes it out of flamethrower won't do much. Citrus berry takes it out of healing range. So Karen will not use a full restore so I can take out the hounder. Die. Easy. Okay. Two thousand experience. Jesus Christ. Ballplume. All right. 
Vile Plant Rank I want Cyclonus to get a kill, because it's not gonna get a kill in, uh... In the champion battle. Like, Cyclonus is useless in the champion battle. So, we'll go for the fly. And get, get the, um... Faints on Vile Plume. That'll be good. That is looking good. Being five levels above, generally... Oh, it's alive. Wait, what? Okay. I thought Karen would use a full restore there, but she didn't. Gengar. Gengar, Ghost, Poison. It's got Destiny Bond, so I need to take it out quickly. If we get past the Destiny Bond, we're fine. I just need to get past the Destiny Bond. Oh, take it out in one hit, that works too. Okay, Mercury's left. Which is a reasonably weak Pokemon to use in an Elite form. Just saying. We'll give Tyrant. You can use Avalanche. I think I've still got the Nevermore Dice. This is far from being backed into a corner. Ha ha ha. La di da di da. Pluck. The only issue is I hope Tyrant's not. Okay. Karen's done. Karen is done. <laughs> Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. We need to heal and do this stuff now. We have one more battle in the Elite Four. And I've barely used any of my healing items. Could have probably gone through without much fanfare at all. Okay. Thinking of approaching Lance. Tesla is first to take down the Garrus. Now, I just gotta check. Just checking that Tyrant definitely still has an Evermelt Ice on Yes, he does. Okay. We're gonna save again because I'm. Quick save. Easy save. Come on. Lance is last. We gotta defeat Lance. Oh, they're not making us walk up there automatically? That's insane. Okay, this battle could be fun. I've been waiting for you. Gold! I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge! I love this remix of the Champion Battle theme. It's awesome. Alright. Still specialising in a dragon type, but only has one dragon line. Okay, cut my attack, we're using Discharge. God, I love this song so much. Gerida should be down, like it's four times a week. Easy. What are you gonna do, Lance? You're gonna go straight into a Dragonite? You are. Alright. Which which one are you doing? Which one are you doing? Please don't be the one with Blizzard. It's not, okay. Avalanche should take out in one hit. Outrage is gonna hurt. Ow. 
Outrage is gonna hurt. Avalanche should kill. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going straight into another Dragonite? You are. Okay. Um, let's switch out so we can give Thingy some healing. It's gonna be one of the level 49 ones. We've taken out his ace. I guess we'll find out which one it is if I send out Cyclonus, because both will take him out. Cyclonus is in sacking mode, basically. We're gonna heal. Heal Thingy. Heal Tyrant, and then do as much damage as possible. And then bring Tyrant out. Okay, this is the Blizzard one. I think it might still be faster than Tyrant. That's gonna kill. Yep, that's gonna kill. Okay, Tyrant needs to live this. Hopefully it's faster. It missed Blizzard. Okay, okay, we can win. We can win. Because the other Dragonite, it can't use Thunder or Thunder Wave on us. It didn't kill. What? Champions, yeah, okay, full restore. This should be four times weak. This should be four times a week. Why is this one surviving it? I was hoping it would miss that. Please don't kill. Yes! Yes, Tyrant, you legend! <laughs> okay. And that Dragonite's out. The other Dragonite still has Hyper Beef. It's not over yet. There's still one more Dragonite. It's gone right into it. Okay, who can we sack? Tesla can still be used against the other two flying types. In fact, Tesla could probably be useful for all of them. Thunder. And this is the only time I've used potions in battle before. And it's because I didn't get a good lineup when it came to ice type moves, so I pretty much have to use Tyrant in this battle. Thunder Wave. Okay. Get the paralysis. Let's try and do as much damage as possible. Dragon Rush. Withdrew Dragonite, okay. Switching, are we? Aerodactyl. And yeah, the rock slide, I thought so. Alright. Okay. We just need to take out the Dragonite. Once we take out the Dragonite, this battle is pretty much won. We just need to take out that other Dragonite, and... It's gonna sit. That's gonna do some damage. Okay. Kill in one, please. Kill in one hit. Come on. Go on, Surf. Stab Surf. I still- I've still got, um, thingy. Please don't crit. I said please don't crit. Didn't even crit. Okay, Amethyst. I just need to keep Thingy alive for... Let's do it. Crunch. That'll do some damage. It's a very versatile team. Like, Lance has a very versatile team. This is probably one of the most thrilling champion battles I've ever had. Amethyst is level 49. Amethyst has been carrying in this Elite Four. Okay, Charizard. I've got three mons. Tyrant's ready for the other Dragonite. 
I just don't want it to use Hyper Beam. Fire Fang? Okay. Please take it out. No, okay. Using a first stop. Okay. I'll see if I can paralyze the Dragonite. If I can paralyze the Dragonite, I might have a chance to get out of this. I just want to try and paralyze that Dragonite. What are you doing, Lance? Full restore. Okay. I think that might be a range. I might be able to take it out with one discharge. Come on. Shadow Claw. I think that's dead. Tesla, you boss! Let's go! Only issue is Dragonite will be faster, but. Okay, we'll keep Tesla in and try and get the. Alright, I thought this would never happen! Or something like that. I don't know. Okay. It is faster. The only thing the Dragonite can hit me with... Okay. The only... It can hit me with Hyper Beam and Dragon Rush. Use Dragon Rush. Okay. Okay. No! Ah, oh, bugger. I'll die now. Ah, um, crap. Tyrant... Because that'll kill now. No matter what happens. Hyper Beam... Hyper Beam or Dragon Rush will kill. I'm in a bad situation right here. I'm in a bad situation. This battle is... oh, this is a thrilling battle. Okay. Sorry, Amethyst, I'm gonna have to sack you. Okay. Tyrant just needs to live through a Dragon Claw, Dragon Rush, and... If Tyrant can live through a Dragon Rush and get the Avalanche off, the battle is won, but it needs to not flinch. It can't flinch. Don't flinch. Wow. Wow, okay, that was a great battle. Like, holy crap. That was a great new champion. That was a thrilling battle. That was a great battle. I loved that. I think I actually, that was probably harder than Cynthia in uh, Diamond Pearl, I'd say. Probably largely because at least Cynthia was very variety in her types, while Lance is still very much pretty much flying dragon focused, so, yeah. I think I, th that was harder than Cynthia, I think. I think I beat Cynthia pretty easily, while this battle was quite a bit harder. And I had to use items in battle for once. What is this madness? You have become truly powerful, God. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Now we hope the game doesn't crash. Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Ah, God. It's been a long while. It's... You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. 
Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too. Yeah, yeah those Pokemon, yeah, they were alright. I just... Yeah, as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations, Gold. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Gold, could you come with me? Oh, wait, we haven't done the interview! Crazy girl. <laughs> it's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the lead champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new league champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the, m all the makings of greatness. Gold, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. You did great, Tesla. But we still got a long way to go yet. Yes, Amethyst. You pretty much carried the Elite Four right up until the end there. You provided the path needed for Tyrant to land the final avalanche and defeat that Dragonite. Hydra, you did a little bit of work in the Elite Four. Not much. You were a bit more useful during the gym battles, I think, and you'll be very useful in the upcoming Kanto League. Paraclasm, you did a great job in Johto. We'll see you around in Kanto. You might not help much, but, you know. Job Cyclonus, you did a little bit of work in the Elite Four. Not much. You'll see more use in the Kanto League. Tyrant, King, Nido King, you landed that final avalanche to defeat Lance. Good job, buddy. You did well. We did it! That was a tough battle. Like, that was the toughest battle I think I've had in a while. Besides Red. And I was left with a rather middling power ice type move to take care of Lance's dragons, so. It's credits time! I can't skip them. But we got more work to do after this. So I'm gonna let this play out for a bit. Um, and then after this has played out, we are gonna take a short break and then we will jump into the Kanto side of the story for the first time. It will be fun. But we did it! We defeated the Indigo League once again, the fourth time. <laughs> but we are not done yet. As I said, we still have quite a bit to do in this game. There's a little thing called Kanto. <laughs> which we need to do. There's Whitney. What are you doing, Whitney? That bloody mill tank. <laughs> I don't know how long it took me to defeat that mill tank. I think a little bit. Who have we got? Morty! Morty and his ghost types. Which is just one family. That's... that's pretty boring. Chuck! Chuck who uses fighting types, but no fighting types for you. Jasmine and her Steelix. Fun times are bound. Who's next? It's Lance and Claire. And there's Price. Who just wandered on screen for a brief moment. Oh, it's the Rocket dudes. It's Team Rocket. They decided they wanted to walk as well. And one extra grunt. They're back. There's Lance again. Lance is a beard again. The Elite Four, Will, Koga, Bruno, and Karen. Koga's learnt ninja moves in the brief time between thingy and thingy. There we go. Bye, Lance. 
Junichi Masuda has made some interesting decisions in recent years. There we go. The end, except not really, because we still have pretty much an entire other region to go through. <laughs> but, to be fair, Kanto is a lot shorter than Johto. So we're going to load back into the game here. And we're back in New Bark Town. So I'm going to take a very short break. Grab myself a glass of water. Stretch my legs, etc. When we get back, uh, I will jump into the Kanto side of the story. And yeah, I'm going to give a safe state here. And I will see you all very, very shortly. When we jump back into it for our next portion of the game.
Okay, I, I have to get back to it now because Professor Elm is calling and I don't think he'll be very happy if I leave it behind. So, um, I'd better call him. Uh, <laughs> because I didn't answer. <laughs> what is it, Professor Elm? <laughs> Hello, Gold. I have something here for you from Professor Oak. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Click, click, clickety, click, click, click. Okay. So, all my mons are obviously healed up again, uh, which means that... Uh, Cyclonus, Pyroclasm, and Thingy need experience, and Amethyst does not need experience for a very long time. Anyway, let's head downstairs and see what Professor Elm wants us to do. Hi Gold, Professor Elm told me that he has something to give you. Thanks, I just called him. How's it going, Professor Elm? Gold! There you are! I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Ba -da -ba. The ticket will let you take the fast ship that departs from Olivine City, but you knew that already, Gold. After all, you've adventured all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak in Kanto. Alright, let's head to Olivine. Up here. Fly to Olivine City! And we'll go to the port. And speak to Professor Oak. Hello! You are starting to have the attitude of a champion, Gold. It's time for your Pokedex to what? To match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. National Mode acquired. It won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex, however I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Oh, time flies. I have a radio show to record at Goldenrod Radio Tower. You must be heading for Kanto. If you come near Pallet Town, do drop by my Pokemon lab. I will very much make sure I do do Sounds exciting, I'd love to visit. No, I haven't been to Kanto yet. At least not in this game. The SS Aqua uses jets to travel, it skims over the water. Okay, so there are some few things that we can do. I can't showcase the bug catching contest right now. Uh, new Pokemon appeared during the bug catching contest on Thursdays and Saturdays. The Kanto and Johto exclusive mods stay on the Tuesday events, which I obviously can't showcase. Um, and the prize for first is going to be one of the Evolution Stones, which is a way to get Evolution Stones in this game when not using the Prokeathlon Dome or anything. So the mods that you can find in the uh, bug catching contest now on Thursdays and Saturdays, besides Scyther and Pinsa, you can also find Wormpool, Silcoon, Beautifly, Cascoon, Dustox, Volbeat, Illumise, Cricketot, Cricketune, Combi, and Ninkata. Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to show for there right now. We will go to Kanto very, very shortly. But first, I want to showcase a few things that I did not get the chance to showcase earlier. And one of this is the Pokeathlon Dome. I'm probably not going to play many of the games. Because they're a bit hard to play on an emulator with a mouse. But you get the idea. I'm going to showcase the Pokeathlon Dome itself. And give just a general explanation of what the Pokeathlon Dome does. And hey, I could do one for shits and giggles if I wanted to. But I, eh, I don't know. Anyway, Pokeathlon Dome is found here by going through to the location of the National Park and heading to the left you will find the Pokeathlon Dome. Uh, this is a place where you can get... It's Pokeathlete stuff. Uh, this is a place where you can get evolution stones reasonably early. Um, I think I maybe actually probably came down here for a little bit uh, earlier on when I went down here to get the evolution stones I needed for two of my team members. Um, but, 
now it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's it's pretty much a game. It's an Olympic style competition. You'll play in games. It's much easier to play on a proper DS with an actual stylus um, instead of on an emulator because I'm recording and streaming. So that's fun. One thing it does do is you get different games based on different sports. So you get like hurdle dash, ring drop, snow throw, etc. It all depends on the uh, lineup that you pick. And different Pokemon are better for different events, basically. Um, it's a way to get... And test your Pokemon stats, they'll have different stat values, etc. Uh, when you register for the first time, Whitney will appear and give you something. Um, and we've already talked to Whitney, um, so... It's actually kind of a tricky area to explore. Wait, you have such good eyes. Can I tell you about my last dream? I used to love jump events. The record I have from when I was fully active as a Poké athlete is not a man. Can I ask you to jump a thousand times for me? Well, the record may make you dizzy, but you're still young. You can do it. I'll just sit and wait. So, that guy, you can actually get three rare candies from him by grinding Pokéathlon a whole bunch. And stuff. It's a very basic game. Five factory athlon courses divided into speed, power, stamina, jump, and skill. And you choose your Pokemon carefully for the different courses, etc. So, Pokeathlon, you know, it's a usual thing. Whitney will give you a Pokeathlon jersey the first time you come in. Yeah. Pippi up there, very useful to grab. Very useful to grab. We will give that... We will give that to... Uh, actually, I might hold on to it for a bit. Because I'm going to be getting Psychic very, very shortly. Also in the Pokeathlon Dome area... Is the Apricot Stand. Hey, drink. Welcome to the Apple Juice Stand. Are you giving your Pokemon Apple Juice? I can explain everything you need to know about it. Apple Juice improves a Pokemon's performance. Pokemon have strengths and weaknesses, but there is no need to worry. Give it Apple Juice, and you can max out its performance. You will need it. Do you have any more questions? Apple Juice know how. Choose from the three Apple Blenders. The labels tell you what kind of drink it is. Different drinks have different effects. You should use them to suit the event you want to participate in. That's how to make a top athlete. But remember this, if your Pokemon's performance is maxed out, you cannot make it higher. You should check your Pokemon's performance before you give it Apple Juice. Do you have any more questions? Charge yourself with friendship. Get in the road Apple Juice. Pick one from the shelf. Elaine's stamp, juice, etc. And there's another hidden item here. Protein there for protein purposes. And there's also the athlete shop here. Uh, which is like where you can, you know, exchange your points that you receive in the actual Pokeathlon games themselves for items. As such, PP ups are. Uh, Evolution stones are found here, etc. Now, I think before you beat the game, there's only one type of stone available at a time. Um, but I think once you beat the champion, you get more access to them. Anyway, that's pretty much the Pokeathlon Dome without actually playing the Pokeathlon. Um, the next thing I want to briefly talk about is the Battle Frontier, which for those who are wanting me to, I can do a separate series at a later date focusing on the Battle Frontier. Um, so if we jump onto Route 40 here, here is the Frontier Access. Wait for me! 
Oh my, I fell asleep and ruined my chances of being the first to arrive here. Stupid, stupid me, sob, sob. Anyway, welcome to the Pokeathlon Access. Normally, choosing which Pokemon to is all there is to a Pokemon battle, but when you change certain rules or limitations, the battle suddenly becomes more fun. In this place, you can have such fun. It's called the Battle Frontier. If you become a bit of a fanatic about battles, I'm the guy who can teach you Pokemon all kinds of moves. So this guy here will teach you moves. He has a lot of moves. And can really teach stuff. Ice Punch is very useful and I kind of want Thingy to learn Ice Punch. So every Mon I think has moves that you can give. What do you want, Professor Elm? Hello Gold, I discovered an odd thing. Apparently there's something called Pokerust and in Infects Pokemon? Yeah, I've got it. It's like a virus that's so got Pokemon, it multiplies fast and infects other Pokemon too, but that's all. It doesn't seem to do anything and it goes away over time. I guess it's nothing to worry about. Because I got it. And I got it right before the Elite Four. Do they still have it? Yeah, they do. So none of my Pokemon will be able to learn have Pokerus again, but like, it's there. That's cool. So, movie learner, if you put your heart and soul in the Pokemon Gardens, I can guy who can teach you Pokemon all kinds of moves. Another Mon that can learn all kinds of moves. Snore, Helping Hand, yeah. And I think this guy does the same thing. More moves. What do you have? Mudslap, alright. Yeah, so move to the guys, basically. Uh, that they can teach you moves for battle points. I can't stop shivering. I told my family I would conquer the battle frontier when I left home. But now I'm here and somehow I can't stop shivering. What am I going to do if I get beaten to a pulp? You look quite young. I will pull myself together and challenge the battle frontier. Maybe. <laughs> Finally, I'm here at the battle frontier. When a Pokemon battle on the road doesn't satisfy you any longer, you have to come to the battle frontier. Wouldn't you agree? Pokemon's back. What do you have here? Netball and Dusk Balls. Alright. What do you need? Buy more stuff. I don't think there's anything new. I think it's just all the same. Yeah. All the same. What do all you have to say? Mountain climbing and Pokemon are similar in a sense. They both come down to potential. I do not rely on items or medicines, but rather potential and training for battle. Some trainers rely on a Pokemon's potential alone, but you can use items and medicines to help improve a Pokemon's capabilities. Chill. Welcome to the Battle Frontier! This is your first visit right this way, please! Oh, you have a Versus Recorder. How nice. We upgrade Versus Recorders for the first time visitors in Battle Frontier use. I'll borrow yours for a moment. Let's see, slide open this part here and tika taka ka chunk there. All done. Here you go. Nice. Our other staff will be pleased to explain how the individual facilities of the Battle Frontier operate. I can go over general topics. Do you have any questions? I'm pretty self-explanatory to know how the Battle Frontier works. And how the battle factory works. So, in the individual things for the individual things, we'll explain things. Checking the frontier record will show how many BP you have. Battle Frontier is up ahead. I have explored places all over the world, but nothing compares to the excitement I feel right now. What kind of trainers will I see? What battles will I experience? It's a whole new adventure for me. My dream is to battle Palma of the Pokemon Tower. I want to record it for posterity on my versus recorder. But I left my versus recorder at home. I'm heartbroken. The five facilities of Battle Frontier are Tower, Hall, Castle, Factory, and Arcade. How do you make an acronym out of that? Tsukizafur! Rearrange those letters, maybe? Fatch, Shaft? Nope, nothing works. Didn't anyone think of this? So, this is the Battle Frontier. We're not gonna do much in the Battle Frontier. I actually would kinda like to dedicate an entire section to the Battle Frontier. Um, but I wanna focus right now on just beating the games normally, so we won't tackle, like, any of the battle facilities in any of the games for the time being. But, we might come back to it at a later date. Um, I'm gonna have to choose, because I plan to play Platinum at a later date. Um, with a little upper version marathon. Um, and I'll give it that when the time comes. I'm Cameron the Photographer! It's Cameron the Photographer! Let's take a photo, Cameron!
Nice. And small Pokemon Center here. Not that we really need to use it. What have we got around here? The karate uniform is the uniforms of fighters. There is nothing better suited for going to the Battle Frontier than this. Some people are surprised to see a small girl like me at the Battle Frontier all by herself. It's not like I have to battle myself, you know. My lifelong hobby has been battling using Pokemon. A battle after breakfast, a battle after lunch, and after dinner. I just take a bath and go to bed. Okay, so that's a brief look at the Battle Frontier. As I said, I'm going to dedicate an entire few sessions in the future to the battle facilities in pretty much all the games. So we will do that. Besides Fire Red and Leaf Green, which I think I did as part of my playthrough, which was fun. So. Okay, the Safari Zone. There's a couple challenges we can do in the Safari Zone. So let's see what you have to say to me. I've been waiting for you. The test is ready. This time you can catch a Shandshrew and show it to me. Sounds easy, right? Not really. Shandshrew will not appear with the current Safari Zone setting. And that's where this comes in handy. This sophisticated high-tech machine lets you customize the Safari Zone areas. I call it the Area Customizer. You want to know how it works, don't you? It's a secret! Well, you shouldn't have trouble operating it. Just talk to the staff next to me. So let's catch a Shantru. I almost forgot. I was in the middle of explaining the second test, wasn't I? You will not see Shantru with the current Safari Zone areas, so we'll have to use the Area Customizer to change them. Shantru live in the desert. Good luck. This is the Area Customizer. So let's use the Area Customizer to get a Shantru. Wasteland, savanna, meadow, peak, plains, mountain. So let's switch this out for... For a desert. Switch all of these out. Wasteland. Swamp marshland we don't have. Meadow is used. Mountain is used, so is Wasteland. Go Marshland there. No, sorry, I want to do a Wetland there. There we go. Mountain, Plains, Meadow, Savannah, Peak. We've got Rocky Beach. Just to do something different. A forest there. A swamp there. And a desert there. There we go. Look at that. We customised the area. Let's catch a century. You can play the safari game. You can roam the wide open safari and catch whatever you like. So, uh, so we are in the swamp area right now. So we of course need to catch a sentry in the desert. Time to catch a sentry in the desert. It's a sentry in the desert! Let's complete the second challenge, and that will have us set for the third challenge when that comes up in the future. But I need to have three hours of gameplay pass first, and then Baba will call us, so we'll get and talk about that when we actually get that. And I don't know why it's in Legends. Anyway, next time we do the Safari Zone, we'll actually give a good proper explorer to place. But... Not right now. Is there a PC around here somewhere? Okay, let's grab the sand shrew from the PC. And 
move him out of move him out of Legends. I don't know what this sentry is doing in Legends. There we go. Okay, let's show Thingy Dude. Thingy Dude, that's his name. Because I don't know his name otherwise. We'll show Thingy Dude our Pokemon. You did it! You caught a sentry! I knew you could do it! You've passed the test! You are now the Safari Zone! Wait, what? I've always wanted to see young people playing in Safari. I thought I might get some new ideas. That should help you complete your Pokedex. That's what I've been thinking. By the way, though you are now the Safari Zone owner, would you kindly continue to pay a mission? We have our reasons. Don't be upset. I'll keep thinking of how I can create fun new ways for you to complete your Pokedex. Go have fun at the Safari Zone. Thank you, mate. You're great. Okay. Now that that's all done, let's get on the SS Aqua and head to... And head to Kanto! So. What do you want, Wilton? What's up? This is Wilton. How are you? I'm fishing on Route 44, but nothing's biting today. Let's go fight. Okay, fine. We'll fight Wilton first. Because I'm sure he's got many, many a Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna go fight Wilton first. And then we will. Fight Wilton first, and then we will do that. Yes. Precisely. Any time to get experience for Pokemon. It is vitally important that we defeat Wilton. <laughs> I don't know why. Wait. No, no, I should be further up. Sorry, it's to the left of Mahogany Town. <laughs> to the right of Mahogany Town, sorry. Wrong place. Let's do it! Time to destroy you in super fast speed mode. Why'd I send you out? Whatever. Anyway. Anyway, we'll just beat this guy up quickly. <laughs> Oh, he's gotten two Seekings now. You're getting more powerful every day. Nice. Also nice for me to get another critical hit. Okay. Okay. I think it's time that we actually go to Kanto now. been out this way. If I manage to come back safe from this journey and take my first steps in Olivine City, will you live with me? Please, I beg you! Welcome to the fast ship SS Aqua. May I see your SS ticket? Okay, you have a ticket. We're departing soon. Get on board quick. Okay. Okay, you must be the last passenger. Jeez. They were just waiting for me while I was hanging out at the safari zone and, uh... 
stuff. Okay. What's up? Oh no! It's a dude! Well, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Bye. Here's your cabin. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap in the bed. That will kill them. So this is our room here. Nice. Okay, we are on... Bed. Sleep. Heal our Pokemon and let's get to it. You know, just in case you can find anything. Anyway. Let's fight, dude. I'm going to Kanto to put on a fire-breathing show. There's actually no items of importance here, so we're just gonna fight. Fire Breathe Lyle! Has coughing, flaring on, and coughing. That's a very, very cool setup. I will give them props for this. The levels are much better scaled. Because I'm the champion now. And all the Kanto Gym Leader's aces are above the champion's level, so yes. How I'm going to handle Kanto is I'm going to start with my ace highest at 51, I think, is a good way to do it. I don't know. But we are going to try and get as many levels as possible on the SS Aqua. And hopefully we'll be able to at least get to level 50 and I won't have to grind much in Kanto. It's a lot different. Nothing in here. It's just an empty cabin. So I imagine I'll find twins somewhere. Or zzzz. What? I'm awake, of course. Yeah, sure. He's a hiker, dude. Hiker's probably best not to fight with side pointers. There we go. What's up, dude? Are you alone? Then let's battle! Because that's all these people do. They just hang out in their cabins and wait for someone to walk in and battle them. So, bronze up first, yeah, yeah, safeguard, yeah. You, waterfall, yeah, that's a great move to use against a steel type mon. Bit of experience. And then golem, golem's golem. We like golem. Special. Because their attack, their defense is high. Look at these levels. So much more suitable for a champion. Hiker Nolan. What a man. What a man. I'm actually not going to do much grinding for Kanto leaders, I think. I think it'll be better if we just go in and fight them with what we've got. Hey kid, want to battle with me? Yeah, random dude hanging out in his office. Pokefan Colin. Delibird. Look at these levels, they're so much more suitable for this point in the game. So much more suitable. 
I will give that massive props over the original game. Canto levels were ridiculous. Think I'm a baby? That's not fair! Alright, double battle time. Teddy Ursa and Fampy. Cyclonus and Hydro. Sure. We'll let Cyclonus take some damage. Just gotta be mindful of doing sweeping moves like that, because it'll hurt everyone else. Oh well. There we go, Cyclonus. Get that level 48. Hopefully we'll, we might hit 50 in Kanto. We're gonna probably hit 50 in Kanto. Most passengers are trainers. They're all itching to battle in their cabins. Because that's what you do on the SS Alpha. Oh, hello! My granddaughter is still missing. If she's on the ship, she's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bothering someone. That worries me. Fine. I'll just find the other sailor and destroy him. Not in there, obviously. Okay, time to head down to the lower level. How long are they expecting us to be on this ship for? Oh, I'm seasick! He's a seasick dude. I don't like seasick dudes. Go die. Mr. Mime! We should be able to do physical, enough physical damage to... Okay, it's got a substitute. Okay, back in the flyer if you want it that way. I was about to say, probably not the best. Nice. Magma, sure. I think I'm still locked in on course, so like... Yeah, I'm still locked in on course. <laughs> oh well. We'll take out the magma. End the... Martrek that's coming out now. Which is, you know, thank god I didn't use Assurance. <laughs> Kinda glad that I didn't now, honestly. If I used Assurance and it used Encore, I'd be locked in doing Assurance <laughs> for the rest of the battle, which would be bad. That's not really a good thing. Nice. Nice healing, Cyclonus. There we go, Juggler Fritz has been defeated. Nothing means a better one. I'm on my break, of course. Sailor Jeff. And oh, it's a new mon. It's a Makahita. That's not a Kanto or Johto Pokemon. What's it doing on the ship? <laughs> Jokes aside. <laughs> And Radicate. 
who's also level 40. Look at these levels. Oh, they're so much better than they were in the original game. Eh, you lived. Nice. Stop crunch. But say, you're a normal trainer, you don't have. There you go, Sailor Jeff defeated. His break's over now. Yet he hasn't moved. Hey kid, can I get you to look for my buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere, that good for nothing. I want to go find him, but I'm his on guard duty and I have to stay right here. What, this dude? Or do you mean the dude up here? This dude. Oh, you mean this guy sleeping down here? Wrong room. Crap. Um, he's over here, I think. There we go. No, I have to go! What you're saying I was asleep? Show some respect! A crewman on duty would never be so unmindful as to take a nap in a place like this. I respect your imp implication. I challenge you. Okay, random battle. He's like, how dare you wake me up? I battle you now! Alright. Marchop's taken down easily with a draw pack. So will Marchok. Who else are we getting? Marchok will also be easily taken down. With a draw pack. Although that's at level 41. It's different. But it's fine, he's dead. I mean, fainted. Because that's, that's what the game says. Nice level up, Cyclonus. Level 49. Psyduck. Switch out. Sure, let's give Tesla some experience now. Why not? There's only one more trainer after this anyway. Level 34. That's a bit low. Don't know how I feel about that. Alright. There we go. Sailor Stanley defeated. <sighs> Just woke up. Can't focus. Yada yada yada. Losing to you has woken me up. I will mend my ways and work hard. Can you keep it a secret that I was taking a nap here? Please don't tell the captain. Oh, you bet your ass that I'm going right to the captain right now. He will know of your infidelity. <laughs> no. Anyway. It is a very small uh, jet boat ship thing. Nice. How big is this ship? There we go. I'm so bored. What are you doing in the engine room? How did you get into the engine room? How does that work? Yeah, she was just hanging out in the engine room. like, Because that's what you do on a ship like this. Just hang out in the engine room. I had defeated Picnic and Debra. What? Alright. Better head upstairs. That'll be everyone. This little girl keeps asking me to play with that. Ouch! Please don't stretch my arm. Captain, play with me please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Wow, are you gonna play with me? That's my hide and seek. I'll hide, so close your eyes. That's new. Okay. I did not expect her to go immediately play hide and seek instead. Now I have to go find her.
Oh, what? You mean down here? <laughs> oh, you found me! I better go back to my grandpa. What happened to just going back to your grandpa normally? Grandpa, here I am! I was playing hide and seek with this guy! Gold, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. Take this. Not that I'll be able to use a metal coat very much, but... Fireship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Well... I guess we have to... Fireship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Let's go! Let's go! You came from Johto? I envy you! I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. <gasps> it's Vermilion City! Riketo! Yay! A what now? Suicune? That was so close, I thought I could corner it by ambushing it here. But running on the water is beyond me. Still, I'm starting to see a pattern. Suicune prefers water. That means... Sorry, God, I've got to go! Okay, bye. Bye, you prick. Anyway, I was just getting happy. I'm in... I'm in Keto! Yes, let's go! How's it going, dude? Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. How's it going? You hit... Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll go around the long way, then. Diglett! And Shuckle in, I think, this area up here. You're still flattening the land, dude. Dude. <laughs> you have no money to start that. They added a line! <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's why he's taking so long to do anything. Because he has no money. So why is your march up flattening the land then? If that has no mods. Anyway. Uh, Rock Smash mods you can find a Diglett and Shuckle. Be interesting to catch some. Headbutt Trees. Uh, Spiro, Heracross, Combi. Surfing, Tentacle and Tentacruel. Fishing with the Old Rod, Magikarp and Tentacle. And with those two, Chinchou and Shoulder as well with the Good Rod. And there's a Swarm for Wingle here. Now I know, I know, okay. I'm sorry, I need to grab that Iron. That I missed. How dare I miss it. No! I can't go back on the harbour! I missed my iron. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Time to explore Kanto. And by that I mean we're probably gonna only explore the million sea. New battle theme. Anyway. Anyway, we'll grab that luck incense. That is not hidden. The hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? I tried to give you that it's hidden. No, it's not. Random surf on the water. Heart scale. And some places that I can only access from Route 11. Bye. Alright. Time to explore Kanto! And by that I mean Vermilion City, because we're not going very far over here. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town, which I can't access right now, because a giant Pokemon has decided to fall asleep in front of it. There are eight gyms in Kanto. That big building is Vermilion's Pokemon. I have to, use... have to get in there. Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans are welcome! 
Hello, fan club! How's it going? I love the way Clefairy opens up its arms. It's so adorable. Look at my darling bay leaf! The leaf on its head is so cute. Lee leaf! Because apparently that's how things work. Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Are you going to talk about your Rapidash? Talk about your Rapidash. So my precious Rapid, yes! Haha. <laughs> It's cute, lovely, smart, adorable, irresistible, plus, amazing. Don't you think so? Oh, so wild, beautiful, kind, I love it. Hug it, it's warm and cuddly. Oh, it's spectacular, captivating, simply divine. I treasure it. Oops, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. Thank you for the rare candy. By battling, so you may have it. Chad! Hi, it's Chad. How are you? Want to battle? I have to battle every so often to avoid getting rusty. I'll be on Route 38. We'll go battle on Route 38 before I take on the gym here. But I want to talk first and explore the city. Saffron, Saffron, I want to go to Saffron City to see the Magnet Train. Magnet Train! Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that connects Kanto and Jojo. I like this remix. It's a good remix. Vermilion Port is Kanto's seaside getaway. Luxury liners from around the world dock here. Go in there. There we go. I'm thinking about going shopping in Saffron. Follow the northern route and you'll be there in no time. Team Rocket is no longer in Kanto. That alone makes me happy. What do you have here? Nest Ball, Quick Ball, Dust Ball. And Air Mail. You just have the same thing. You don't change. Buy some more super repels. It's probably a good idea. There we go. Finally good. building my money back up again after spending pretty much all of it. Oh, there's an item in the construction site. Let's search. I have to smash rock. Not grabbing rough smash. I do not care. What is it? It's a full hill. I've got enough of them. <laughs> How's it going? I'm the fishing dude. Have you met the fishing guru at the Lake of Rage? He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic carp. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic carp you catch? Who knows? You may catch the magic carp of his dreams. Okay. Okay, well, one of my mons has to go in the PC to get into Vermilion Gyms, so we'll do that, I guess. A sleeping Pokemon is lying on the middle of the road. It's a fantastic opportunity to get it, but how do you wake it up? The fast ship is a great place to meet some battle trainers. Sure. Okay, who's not going to be useful in this battle? Amphi. Amphi won't be. There's a lot more mons here. Alright. We could really uh, have some fun with this chip. Alright. Yep. I can surf in? Uh, whatever. Alright. Vermilion Gym will train to level 51 for it. Maybe. 51? What's the highest? 53. Alright. You're a legend in the making! You lucked out this time. The traps at the gym have been out of order for a while. But the traps are back up and running now. Why, lucky you may ask, because you can train yourself better that way. Make up your mind and go for Lieutenant Surge. I hate you. <laughs> this puzzle is a nightmare. But we get to hear some Kanto remixes, let's go!
think we'll go 51 for our first Kanto gym. And then... Oh, we'll just level everyone up to 50. And... Whatever trainers we defeat, we'll just use that. On our levels. That'd be the coolest way to do it. It's got bloody double team. How do you miss Earthquake with double team? You don't. That's how it, that's how it looks. You don't. <laughs> electrode. Another electrode. We love Electro. He's a cool mod. Honestly, I don't care. I'm just gonna run in with Tyrant will beat everything. And hopefully we'll get him up to 50. And then we'll get everyone else up to 50. And we'll just take care of it. You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge, not if I can help it. Can you tell I like the Kanto battle things? Because they're amazing. Pikachu, what's next? Flaffy. I've beaten Flaffy's before. <laughs> Flaffy's down. Electric! Oh, they really are mixing up the, uh... Gym leader teams here. A lot of them have more uh, Hoenn Pokemon, it looks like. Don't know if we'll see many Pokemon from Sinnoh, but we've already seen a couple of Hoenn Pokemon in trainer teams. Anyway. Gentleman Gregory. You failed. You lose. Alright. Last one. Only three trainers in here, I'm not gonna do the bloody puzzle. Puzzle sucks. Yes. Death comes to those who wish to. Oh yeah, Jolteon is really bloody fast, I forgot. So yeah, so we're gonna get everyone up to 50, and then from level 50, Whatever levels we get up to in Kanto is what we're going to use in gym battles and stuff. Voltorb. Jesus Christ. The Johto battle themes are already pretty decent, but then you just get into Kanto and they just throw everything at you. It's awesome. Anyway, better switch to a uh, thingy for Mega Mine. Is that you can't really level grind very well. It's pretty terrible. Okay. 
Well. Let's fly to... Look at it. Oh, okay. So we can't fly to Golden Rod. We need to fly to... Okay. That's a good way to do it. We need to fly to the Indigo Plateau to fly between the two regions. That's a feasible way to do it. I like that. Anyway, we're going to grind some levels. So we're going to turn Battle Scene off to make things just a bit faster. We're only going to grind up to level 50. Surge will be our first gym battle. No, put you away. And we're taking out... And the Tesla. And we're gonna get out our trusty speed up button. We'll save. We'll do a small amount of grinding. We're only gonna grind up like at least two levels. Cyclonus is already at 49 as well, so like that's useful. Which will be probably the last set of things that we do. And of course, Battling Surge. We're gonna battle Surge as well. Victory Road's still the best place to grind. Oh, that's cool. The music changes to, uh... Music changes to, uh, the Kanto theme in Victory Road. That's good, I like that. Because technically it's Kanto now, not... Anyway, I only needed a couple of... Victories here to get Tyrant up to level 50. Look at that, level 50, what is this madness? Goss can switch here. Hydro and Amethyst, and then Cyclonus, Tesla, and Pyroclasm go out on route, whatever. Whatever it is. Go out on route thingy. Didn't I turn Battle Scene off? probably won't take long to level up either. In fact, I don't think any of these guys will actually take long to level up. Any issue is you've got bloody onyxes and stuff here, it's very annoying. But I'll be very satisfied when we jump in to fight Surge once we've done our mini grounding session here. Because they will be a bit higher level. This should all just kill in one hit now. Yeah. Look at how easy this is. I mean, what? <laughs> Don Fan and Golbat are the ones that I want the most because they'll give the most experience. There's 49. this button down the whole time. I'll just go into here and turn off the limit frame rate. There we go. Okay, we turned off limit frame rate, so we're literally just grinding out. 49. Because the Kanto leaders got a massive buff in levels in the remakes. As I said, all of their aces are above the champion. Even Jasmine. Even, I'm oh, sorry, Janine. Sorry. How did you survive that? Still, grinding in Johto sucks. It 
just grinding in general sucks. It's annoying, but chat to me in the chat. I want to have a conversation while I'm mindlessly pressing the A button. <laughs> because this is kind of boring. <laughs> But it wants to be done once- this will be the last grinding session for a while. I think I'll do one for blue, and then I'll do one for... Uh, red, obviously. Which I'll do off camera, probably. Can stop living my attacks, please? At least we get to hear the Kanto gym with. You survived that! Of course you did. That's how this game works. The wild Pokemon survive your attacks. Barely. With just a little bit of health left. Should have done this earlier, but either way. The levels will slowly go up as we go through Kanto. Good, Mons that give me lots of experience. Although wing attack is annoying. <laughs> wing attack is annoying. One more if it's not Onyx. Uh well, Rhyhorn might be able to. Take me up to the point where I can catch it. Yeah. It's the level 50 mark. Amethyst will need like five minutes. Not even that. Alright, uh, she needs about a full level. Alright. Fiora will take the longest of them all. Everyone will just take a while. Wild Pokemon in this game have abysmal levels. At least if I can get to get Paraclasm up to 50 as well, because I think it'll really be only Tyrant and Paraclasm who will be doing the gym battle. I think. Although, one of those electrodes have self-destruct. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? That would be dumb if they didn't. Raichu is not the ace anymore though. Vision still kills. Didn't think it would. Could just go in and fight the Elite Four again. I don't know if I can. Might be able to. Should be able to. be almost there. One, maybe two more. Two more. <laughs> Onyx won't give the amount needed to get to level 50. a bit 50. That's half the team. The other half will take slightly longer, and then we'll fly back to Vermillion and beat the gym leader. And beat Surge. Last resort. It's 
Move can only be used after the user has used all the other moves it knows in battle. I mean, useful to have. Fly to victory rope. That's right, I've got a trainer to fight. Pyroclasm will beat him up. Where is he? He's on route thingy. We're gonna beat up the trainer on route 38. Because they wanted a battle, they will get a battle. I will give it to them. It's very important. Easy way to get a bit of experience. Not you. Is it you? No. There we go. <laughs> Found him. School kid chat. How much experience can you give me? About the same. Magnemite is slightly lower. Anyway. We fought him. We defeated him. Back to Victory Road. And back to the grind. Grind continues every day. Every day, the grind continues. Sand Slash gives reasonably decent experience. It's Cyclonus who will take the longest. Ponyta gives really good experience as well, actually. 699, yeah. I think the average here might be slightly higher than in Victory Road. Maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway. Paraclasm's already near yet, nearly at 49. Cyclonus will take a while because it can't efficiently fight. Oh, right. Go about that. Yeah, don't do that. That's done. Ralph, no! Do you have a battle for me or something, Ralph? Please tell me you did. I'd be very disappointed if you did. Beating sand slashes. Joey over and over again and beat up his Rattata many, many times. Be pretty funny. Can I call... Okay, I'm actually kind of curious. Can I call Joey? Stupid! It's the 
Chronicles of Mashing the A button. We will get to Surge very, very shortly. We'll get Pyroclasm to 50 first, and then I'll grind Cyclonus in that off camera. I should have just done that first, but whatever. I'll get them up to the 50 that they need to be at. Because I kind of want Pyroclasm for one of Surge's Mons. But we are nearly at a point where I'll go fight Surge. And I'll grind, I'll do Cyclonus in that off camera. Because while the grind is fun, the grind is also a grind. And I want it to stop spawning bloody Doduos for me so I can get more experience. there. Might lower the video native resolution. Let's see if I can get faster speed. No! Don't miss my moves again, you prick. Yeah, lower the native resolution to see if I can get a bit more speed out of this. So it's not so long. Headbutt. Headbutt. Again. Okay. There's a level 50. How much does Cyclonus need? Probably not a lot. An entire bloody bar. Alright. Can defeat Ponytos pretty easily, though. I haven't actually healed since I got off the SS Ant, SS Aqua, so like... At least get a bit of, uh, Sand Shrew. Sand Slash and stuff, because there's not really much others. Other places where it's Tesla it probably takes the most time. I'll be so glad when we're done with this bloody grind. more mods like that. Yes. More Sand Slash, please. Sand Slash and Prenny Top, because they give the most experience on this room. More of Pony Top. 
We need more of Pretty Top. More of Pretty Top. I'll only have Tesla to do after this. Which will probably take the longest of all of them. Because it can't fight Sand Slash. Actually, no, it can with Signal Beam. Probably not worth doing so there. Can you give me something that's not going to work, please? Sand Slash, nice. Okay. That's five. Save. Save. 33 hours in game time. That's insane. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Last one. He's already got about half a health bar. Shouldn't take as long because I think he's... Tesla's in a different XP yield. So I can just use Signal Beam to take out... To take out our uh, Sand Slash. Hopefully we're not here for too much longer. Because I got a gym battle to fight. Surge is waiting in Kanto. Aren't you glad that I decided to stop at 50 instead of doing 51? We'd be here for another 10 minutes. I sure do love mashing the A button. Which is actually the B button, because I've got an Xbox 360 controller, but you know. Oh, you're the set. Excuse me! There we go. I'm gonna check how much experience it needs to get to level 40. 50. After this. That should be enough for that one, yeah. How much? 7,380. Okay. So on average... 15-ish battles? Probably? We'll count them. One. I'm gonna count the amount of battles I need to do to get to level 50. That's one. It'll be more than 15 if it keeps giving me Dodoos. Two. battles so far. Which is good. I need those 600 experience ones. Five, yes. Keep, give it, keep giving me Sand Slash and Ponyta. Sand Slash and Ponyta and Dodrio is good as well. Six. Seven. Here is number eight. It's another dodo. Nine. That's nine. Ten. Stop giving me dodo. Dodo doesn't help me. Eleven. Good. 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 Twelve. Good. Good. Very good. At least one, maybe two more? Two more. Not if you're giving me a dodo. -er. Give me another dodo. -er. It might be three. Okay. We did it! 
We did it! Level 50! Get out of here! Okay. Stop doing that. And get our native resolution back up again. There we go. Okay. Let's go nuts with search. Fight Surge, and that will be it for this session. That'll be the last thing we do. Defeat Surge. Our mons are all at level 50. Do I have Soft Sand? There was something in the thingy that I could get. But I don't think there was. Okay. Oh well, we get stab anyway, so like. 34 in game hours. Let's go defeat Surge! Let's go mess him up and listen to the fantastic. Turn that back on. Because we're not grinding anymore. Listen to the phenomenal Kanto Gym Leader remix in this game. It is great. But the first thing we need to do is complete this godforsaken puzzle. Got it. Alright, Surge. That was probably the quickest I've done of a million city gym puzzle. Like, Jesus Christ, that was fast. Hey, you little tyke! It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric type Pokemon, I'm number one. I have never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do all my enemies in battle. Oh, I love this remix! <laughs> Such a good remix. Alright. So we're slightly underleveled, but that's okay. That's okay. Because really, the only thing that Raichu can do is quick attack or double tank. And hopefully this... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. That should take out Raichu. It's got static as an ability though, that could be an issue. I don't think that attacks me specifically though. Earthquake is not physical, isn't it? Is it? Electrode, alright. Now, are you the one with self-destruct? I don't know. You just use double team, which both of them have. No! Oh crap, it's spamming double team! I hate when it does this. It's just making me waste earthquakes. Okay. This is the one with self destruct. Okay, it just used Scritch. Okay, that'll take it out. This is the one with self destruct. <laughs> Magneton. Alright. Magneton. It does have supersonic. So it'll just be a case of take it out as quickly as possible. Do -do 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 
da da da. Can you tell I love this remix? Because I really love this remix. Okay, other electrode, this one can't physically attack me. This one can't physically attack me. The only attacking move it has is Shockwave, which can't hurt me at all. So, this electrode is done. Now we gotta deal with the Electabuzz. The Ace. The level 53. Now this one has a bit more variety to it. It can actually attack us. It's not over yet, it's just beginning! Light screen. Raises him special defense. Earthquake is physical, I think. Might be something to research. <laughs> Come on, let's do it! Thunder Badge acquired. Tennis Surge defeated! My electric trick! I... that actually went really well. I was a bit worried about the electrode using self-destruct, but... Ah, yeah. oh, you are strong! Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge! First Kanto Badge acquired! That Thunder Badge suits those who've defeated me. Take good care of it. There is something else. Here is a great TM for you. TM 34. That TM contains Shockwave. Zap! Use it to go like lightning. When you go north, you will see a big city called Saffron. I don't think... I don't think... That Shockwave is actually very useful. Yeah, because it's a 60 power move. Thunder Punch is 75, Discharge is 80. But it can't be evaded. Nah, I'm happy with Thunder Punch and Discharge. I'm happy sitting there where it is. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to see what we get. Okay. That is going to be our session for today! Hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll get a move on in Kanto, and hopefully get some of the key section, uh, the key storyline of Kanto started. With that being said, that has been today's stream. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will get this uploaded on YouTube hopefully later. Not Probably not today, it'll probably be a tomorrow one. And yeah. I will see you then. Enjoy some music. <laughs>